Hello everyone, welcome back to Wrath of Math. I'm your host, Sean E, and in today's video we will be going over the Fibonacci sequence. Should be a lot of fun. So the first few numbers of the Fibonacci sequence look like this. 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, and so on. Can you tell how we're getting these numbers? Well, the sequence starts with 1 and 1. Every subsequent number is the sum of the previous two numbers. So we see here 1, 1, and then from then on to get 2, we add the two previous numbers. 1 plus 1 is 2, and then to get to the next number, 2 plus 1 is 3. To get to the next number, 3 plus 2 is 5, so on and so forth. So we could write the Fibonacci sequence as a recurrence relation, which we will. We'll say f sub n, that's any number of the Fibonacci sequence, um, and the nth number of the Fibonacci sequence, I should say, is the sum of the previous two. So that's f n minus 1 plus f n minus 2. That's take the last Fibonacci number, meaning the previous one, and add it to the one that is before that one. Just like here, if we take 5, that's equal to 3 plus 2. Since this is a second order recurrence relation, we need two initial conditions. Sorry, I didn't like what I was writing there. So we'll say we have these two initial conditions, f sub 0 equals 1, and f sub 1 also equals 1. So that gives us this one and this one, and from then on, we can figure out every Fibonacci number by taking the sum of the previous two. So when we define this recurrence relation, we'd also say that n is greater than or equal to zero. Those are the only n's we're working with, of course. If n equals zero, then our number is one. If n equals one, our number is one, and from then on, we can use this relation right here. Now sometimes the Fibonacci sequence is started with a zero, and so in that case, it's very similar, but it looks like this. Zero, one, and then you add the two previous numbers to get one, and then two, and then so on. You're right back into the sequence as it appears above. And that's really all there is to it. Just to show you an example of using this recurrence relation, let's say we want to find out what the sixth Fibonacci number is. So we'll take the fifth Fibonacci number, 6 minus 1 is 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, that's 5, and, sub and add to it the fourth Fibonacci number, 6 minus 2 is 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, that's 3, so the sixth Fibonacci number is 5 plus 3, which equals 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, there's our 8, checks out just fine. And of course, it would be just about the same thing if we started with 0, but you're basically just shifting the whole sequence up 1 and adding in that additional number right at the start. So that's what the Fibonacci sequence is. It's a sequence of numbers um, where after the first two numbers, every subsequent number is defined as being the sum of the previous two. So I hope this video helped you understand what the Fibonacci sequence is and how we can write it as a recurrence relation. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, if you need anything clarified, or if you have any other video requests. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time, and be sure to subscribe to the Swankiest Math videos on the internet. I can hear your voice from all the way up here, dear. Won't you please come to me? You love it up here, dear. There's a light where I float that erases all. Yeah.